Hey guys, it's Nelly, and today I'm going to be doing a college bookshelf tour. I only brought to school with me books I haven't already read yet, so a couple of these books are part of a series, but I've already read the first one or something of that nature, which is why I don't have the entire series with me. This video is also going to be outdated in about two weeks when I go home for Thanksgiving because I don't have much room on my bookshelf, so I'm going to be taking home all the books that I have already read. I also am missing a copy of a book that I brought with me, The Maze Runner by James Dashner. I let a girl borrow that book from me and she has still not given it back. I don't think she's even actually read it yet and I gave it to her two months ago. And I really hope you enjoy this video. I'm going to be starting with all of the cute little knickknacks that are on my bookshelf. First, I've got this little owl stuffed animal that I got from my friend Lucy as a birthday present. We've named it Hedwig, but the official name of it is Spells, according to its little tag. Sitting on my bookshelf, I also have my Kindle. The Kindle that I have is called a Kindle Keyboard, but it's also been unofficially dubbed the Kindle 3 by online users. I don't really have a lot of books on it. Sitting on top of one of my stacks of books, I have this little pumpkin that me and my roommate got a while ago to decorate our room. We got these pumpkins for Halloween and mine is now kind of dying a little bit. Hers still looks pretty healthy though. Next, I've got these postcards for my mom. This one's a little pie chart about having heart palpitations. Optimus thinks I'm in love while a pessimist thinks I'm dying. I've also got this graph about learning and teaching over time. Next, I've got this cute little zebra. Its name is Zigzag, according to its tag. My mom's birthday was in July, and so we went shopping and got these cute little stuffed animals. Hers is an elephant, and mine, of course, is the zebra. I've also got this box, which has a gift from my friend Trey inside. It is a bookmark that has a snitch on the end of it, and if you open the snitch, it's a pocket watch. I think it's too pretty to put inside a book, so right now I just have it on display on my bookshelf. I also have this letter from Trey on the inside of the box. This is an as important but I've also got this on my bookshelf which makes the room smell nice and as you can probably see I'm gonna have to get a new one soon because the beads are almost gone and now for the books leaving time by Jody Pico the casual vacancy by JK Rowling the daughter of smoke and bone by Lainey Taylor between shades of gray by Ruta Septis I hope I'm pronouncing that right the lovely bones by Alice Siebold extremely loud and incredibly close by Jonathan Saffron Fowler across the universe by Beth Revis the infinite moment of us by Lauren Miracle Ask the Passengers by A.S. King, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hodkin, The Diviners by Libba Bray, Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Dallara, Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen, Shatter Me by Tahara Mothi, The Bell Jar by Sylvia Plath, Handle with Care by Jody Pico, The Pact by Jody Pico, and Sing You Home by Jody Pico. Aristotle and Dante Discover the Secrets of the Universe by Benjamin Alir Sains, Asylum by Madeline Rowe, The Spectacular Now by by Tim Tharp, The Timekeeper by Mitch Album, Coraline by Neil Gaiman, The Final Warning by James Patterson, The Sea of Monsters by Rick Riordan, The Titan's Curse by Rick Riordan, The Battle of the Labyrinth by Rick Riordan, and The Last Olympian by Rick Riordan, and finally Why We Broke Up by Daniel Handler. So this has been my bookshelf tour. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'm really looking forward to seeing you guys all again next week if I have time to make a video. College life has been a little crazy. Stay awesome.